All right, so the last thing I'll mention here is the homework. Uh, the homework is going to be a little bit of writing. It's a, it's a handout that I've got available for you on Blackboard. You can print it in a moment, not while I'm talking, please. But if you go over to Blackboard, I'll show it to you and then you can access it. But over on Blackboard, over on Assignments, you're going to see a brand new assignment, number three, Company Profile. The instructions are this file called Company Profile PDF. And what you're actually going to fill in is this Word document. If, if you don't have Word, send me an email and I'll send it to you in another format. But let me just show it to you. You can download it. And then you'll need to fill it in and turn it in by next week. So let me show you what I'm asking you for here. We spent the first month or so learning how to use the tool, WordPress. And then we set up a real site. Um, now what we need to do is, well, before we, we, we go to actually optimize our site and get it found by people and add blog posts and all of that stuff, we need a plan. We, so there's going to be two assignments, this is the first one, to set up that plan, that foundation. The first one is this company profile. This is again something that I give to clients. You're going to fill this out and turn it in next week via email. You're going to open the document, type in your company name and your name and the date. And then there's going to be these sections that you need to fill in. Company name, tagline, about us, mission statement, values, personality, fundamentals. I explained what each of these is right here in a little example. For example here, company name. What's the name of your company? Write what it is, but also give me like one sentence, like why is that name? Why did you choose that name? The purpose of all of these questions are for you to think about what is your company, what's it about, why does it matter, why do you want people to buy your services or hire you or see your paintings, you know, this is the big question, why? This, what, this is one of the documents that will help you answer all of that. When we talk about social media and so forth later, it's like, well, what am I going to tweet about? I've never used Twitter, what, what am I going to tweet about? These kinds of questions will help you answer that. That once we know what our website is about, we can then decide what we're going to be tweeting about or blogging about and so forth. Just because we know the tool doesn't mean we know how to, what to do with it. Just because you learned how to use oil paints doesn't mean you have any inspiration to make a painting, a portrait. So if we have these concepts, it'll help us in the future. So you're going to write what your company name is, you're going to write a tagline, a phrase, a slogan. My examples here. I'm loving it. Whose slogan is that? What company is that? Anyone know? McDonald's. What's the slogan? Who's the slogans of? It's in the game. Just do it. Think of all of these. Uh, Nike. Think of all of these names. Uh, think of all of these companies and what's their catchphrase? What's their slogan? Even the small companies around here, they're going to have slogans. What does your company mean in one sentence? Maybe you never thought about that, and that's okay. This, that's the purpose of this assignment. You have a week to answer these things. These things, for a real company like McDonald's and so forth, would take weeks, if not months, to answer and cost probably millions of dollars. A whole team of marketers gathered together to answer all of these questions. When my company does this for clients, you know, we spend some time with the client asking them these questions, getting as many answers as possible, full sentences and thoughts, and that helps us then work with them because we understand their company and we can make a product for them that they will be proud of and be able to use. You need to ask yourself about us. Write a paragraph about your company. Who founded it? What is it about? When did you when did you get the idea? And so forth. All of that stuff is stuff that will go in your About page. You do want an About page on your website because you want people to know what your company is about, to trust you, to know what you're selling, and so forth mission statement. Write something that lets potential customers know what's in it for them. Why would they hire you? 
For example, Vic.co exists to bring the most beautiful web design to the most discerning clients in Southern California. Our designs will make everyone take notice. So again, someone finds your company on a Google search, they find also a million other results. Why are they going to care about yours? So what's your goal for, being, for having a website or even having a business? That's your mission statement, the mission of my company. So a couple of sentences. This, of course, does not need to be perfect next week. I'm not going to be grading you on, you know, if you've done this, it, it done this super professionally. I'm going to be grading you that you've done it, that you've thought about it, that you've written complete sentences and so forth, but it's going to be refined. This can be version one. Later, you'll have version two and so forth. Values. What are some keywords that your company believes in? For example, orderliness teamwork, discipline, efficiency, creativity, and there's a link there for a bunch of possible keywords. Think about again, you know, you probably believe in things like honesty and hard work and such. Companies believe in that too. Companies want to reward hard work. They believe in hard work, so they'll reward their employees. Companies believe in honesty, so they will operate honestly with their products and so forth. So you're just going to write a few keywords about what your company believes in. Because we're going to be talking about social media and blogging and so forth, you have to think about what the personality is. Are you going to be writing very, um, very like officially or, or, or very uh, dry? Or are you going to be writing in a fun way? Are you going to be using slang or proper language or contractions or whatever? How are you going to be communicating? What's the personality? So if your personality is a serious company, for serious web designers, then I'm not going to be writing tweets about like, hey, y'all, check out this link. You're going to be writing, this link might help you. Click here. You know, that's the personality of what you're going to be writing. You have, yeah. you have to think about your, your audience. Your audience, exactly. So think about what your audience is like. That might help you to decide what your personality is. Or you could develop your personality now and search for that audience. Either or. Notice my example. Vic.co's communication is spontaneous and friendly. Vic.co is happy to talk to new clients and share the latest in web design. So maybe we're going to be writing like fun things and we're going to be using slang and cat pictures and all of that, you know, fun stuff. Conversely, I could have a serious company and I'm not going to be doing the same thing. But if I don't have that defined, if other people are doing your social media, maybe they're going to write something way too informal and that's not going to fit your personality. And then fundamentals is, well, just write, if you have this stuff, of course, if you do have a physical location, what's the address? Do you have an email? Write that down. You do. We made one in GoDaddy. Do you have any social media? If you've got a Facebook, write that down. If not, that's okay. Or any other thing you have online. Do you have an Instagram or a website or what? You just write it all down. You're going to fill all of this in as best as possible. So that's the homework for next week. There's more instructions. You can look at it on your own, on the PDF. That'll be due a week from today. You can, of course, ask me questions as the week goes on, but that's due next week by 11 p.m. If you turned it in early, great. I can take a look at it. If not, it's due next week at 11. Any general questions? It can be totally new, for sure. You're not be, you don't have to be constrained with what you've already done. And this can change again in three weeks or whatever. So if you have an, a current idea, yeah, apply this to your current idea. Uh, we're going to wrap up this point, and you can print it out if you want, but you're going to fill it in in the document and send it to me. But that's it. So we went a little bit past the usual time. Usually we won't. We, got a, we had a lot to cover. I'm going to put these videos up online, of course, and you can review them again. When we come back next time, we'll keep going and uh, keep learning and keep improving. So, see you next time. I, I have a